So let's move on with our server configuration. So we now touched on LAN uplinking, SAN uplinking. So what remains is our configuration of the actual servers itself. So let's do that. Um, this is going to take a while to show you all the different settings there are. I will not touch on everything, but I will globally touch on the most important things. Uh, because there are so many policies and pools that we need to do something about, um, I want to show you just the most important ones that you for sure will be doing in the lab. So let's start with the creation of pools. Because if we start looking at the order that we configure things, it should be something like this. So in the end, we want to configure service profile templates. Or in the end, we want to configure service profiles. So the result is a working service profile with all kinds of settings. We will base that service profile on a service profile template. That service profile template is going to contain a number of things. It's going to contain vnix, also based on vnic templates. It's going to contain vhbas, based on vhba templates. It's going to contain a number of policies like the BIOS setting and uh, other settings, but most importantly, the boot settings, right? We want to boot from SAN, so we want to boot from Fiber Channel or we want to boot from iSCSI. And of course, all this is based on pools. Policies use pools, uh, policies are configured in the template and the template is configured in the service profile. So we start from the bottom working our way back up. 